Peru News Today, all you need to know about Peru. Police published list of 17 injured in the train crash in Cusco. The Cohen reported more than 30 injured. Five remain in clinics with serious injuries. And ECO P activated an emergency protocol to verify compliance with consumer protection regulations. At the Peru Rail and Inca Rail Companies, the National Police announced the identity of 17 people who were injured, mostly foreigners, as a result of the train crash that occurred on Tuesday morning on the Olente Tambo Machu Picchu Railway in the Cusco region. The authorities reported that a total of 31 people were injured, five of them seriously. Several were treated at the accident site and it was not necessary to admit them. At the Chima Clinic, the Americans Noel Santiago Marrero, 50, were treated, who presented polyantusions in different parts of the body, and sharp wounds in the left hand. And Wanda Alvelo Maldonado, 33, polygonous on the left side of the face. Meanwhile, at the Peruano Suizo Clinic, the workers of Peru Rail, Roxana Mora Palacion, 32, Polycatusa in head, hip, shoulder and left elbow were referred. And Andres Lopez Luna, 31, who suffered cerebral contusion and blows to the right elbow. At the Pardo Clinic Paulina Nicole Reyes Cabello, 32, Valentina Constanza Nera Reyes, Karen Alejandra Reyes Cabello, Nicolas Andres Baez Reyes, Francisco Reyes Espinoza, Maria Isabel Cabello Aresha, Luis Francisco Reyes Espinoza, Alexander Loeza Patara, 28, were admitted, Marshall Myers, 70, Frank Michel, Frenchman Jean-Marie Judo, 49, and Koreans Shin K and Yang and Yuyin Yang. The police reported that according to passenger versions of the company Inca Rail, a group of people who failed to board the local train of the company Peru Rail would have blocked the railway with stones. This forced the tourist car to remain detained for more than an hour. The accident. By mid-morning, there was a train crash on the road from Olente Tambo to Machu Picchu in Cusco. The accident was recorded at the height of KM89 near the community of Cariwe Arishina and left 31. Injured five of them seriously. The trains belonged to the companies Peru Rail and Inca Rail, both moved passengers. Eight rescue units moved to the scene of the accident to evacuate the wounded to the nearest hospitals, informed RPP News the head of the 9th Command of Firefighters of Cusco, Brigadier Romulo Centeno. The police reported that, according to passenger versions of the company Inca Rail, a group of people who failed to board the local train of the company Peru Rail would have blocked. The railway with stones. This forced the tourist car to remain detained for more than an hour. In the absence of coordination with the wagon of the Peru Rail Company, which departed at 8.00 a.m. from the Olente Tambo station, it was rammed in the back, says the police briefing. Testimonials. In a statement to RPP News, a tour guide said he was surprised by the delay in arrivals and departures of trains that were scheduled. Through contacts in the area, they sent me photos of an accident. In the station, the operators have not spoken about it, he added. Valeria Lozano, one of the passengers who was traveling on the train of the Inca Rail Operating Company, said that they were headed to Aguas Calientes and that they were stranded by a protest. Then when the train started to start, after five minutes we felt a strong impact from the Peru Rail train, he explained. The witness who is also a tourist guide said that in her group three couples of German Austrian and Swiss nationality were traveling, who are safe. Indecopy activates Protoloco. The Indecopy announced on Tuesday that has activated the emergency protocol before the rail. Accident occurred in Cusco to verify compliance with consumer protection regulations in favor of those affected. The body will verify the measures adopted by the companies Inca Rail and Peru Rail with regard to the existence of insurance contracted against damage to passengers and the corresponding coverage of those affected by the insurance companies. The INDECOP will inform shortly about the possible initiation of sanctioning administrative proceedings in case there are indications of infringement of consumer protection regulations. The agency said in a statement, Visit at www.perunustoday.com. Also follow O in Facebook and Twitter.